Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but we'll do everything DIY and today we are back for another nightmare video. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have another nightmare and it hasn't been long since we've been in here. I'm sure you guys all recognize this spot. We changed this pump here and we changed this pump here. We have another leak on the floor. We finished up another job on a different job site and we got this call. Unreal, that's a lot of water right there. Oh man, what a beautiful day. I told them they need to keep a spare on site. So the last one that we pulled out we actually had it rebuilt. Got gaskets on there. We got the new nipple here, new valve, and pressure gauges. And a nice paint job on here. That's awesome. We rebuilt the seal. We put a seal kit inside there. And it's actually the same problem going on with this one. Over there where it's leaking, that is a failed seal. This is number three. This is the third one in like a month and there's four in total this is the fourth one and if you look at it look how stained it is with the rust and stuff like that it actually looks like we got some leakage here at some point at least i don't know but all that rust and everything inside there this thing is probably done so at this point i think the best thing to do is put this one in place of that one rebuild that one put it in place of this one and then rebuild this one and have this in stock for an emergency pump number one let's shut this down what's up with this thing this valve is all messed up it's still leaking dear lord what's going on here i don't know man but they pay the bills so it is what it is <laughs> all right pump number one i labeled this last time because they were all wrong off off lock out tag out all right pump is off let's shut this down closed and there's one back here oh man that's tight is flowing like this so that's off and let's drain this thing let's take this off this little cap oh this thing is clogged again for sure no water coming out of there Job security, my friends. I'm in this building every week. Ugh. And there's water everywhere. Just let this thing go. <laughs> there is a drain plug on this pump. Let's take off this little top hat over here. Looks like that stopped. And remove our power wires. We have three power wires. This is 208 volts, three phase. Stuff like this, you need that angle bit. That thing is a lifesaver. Wires just exposed, there's no cap on here. That's a beautiful thing. Not really. <laughs> Pulled all those wires off. Let's take off this locking ring for the power. Yeah, it's like a little nut. Loosen that up. You could take your wires out. Okay. 
Got my beautiful socket set. Coming in handy. All right, next one on the bottom. I was loose. Oh no, switch sides. No space there. Switch sides. Ooh, this thing is in the way too, huh? Yeah. Let's see. You gotta get a little bit. Hold it like this. I'm gonna do all the torquing. Uh, this one's coming off real easy. All right, so we're just gonna take off these four bolts. And we're gonna be in business. All right, next one up top, gotcha. over there. Taking off those bolts by hand. And underneath here, we have four bolts, holding this together. All right, gonna be some water in here. Come over here, give this pipe a little bit of support. Shouldn't be bad, it's only here, but let's give a little support. That thing is in there and there. Wow. Ah, we're just gonna have to go around here and there. There we go. Let's let that leak out. We also got these four bolts out. There we go. I have new gaskets, don't worry about it. All right. Let's let that leak out. The threads underneath, I'm just gonna take them off so it's gonna be easier to take this out. Just kind of just slide it off. All right, this thing is ready to come out. You know what we're gonna do? Yeah. They got this in the way, man. The way that they built this. Yeah. All right, hold up a second, man. Okay. Probably gonna have to spin it. it. I don't even know if we got the clearance for that. Probably gonna have to spin it and then pull it out this way. So there's no space over there. The problem is, I don't think, watch out. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. Man, whoever built this is real, you know what. Cause they're sitting on wood, the thing is rotting too. This whole thing is gonna collapse one day. If we try to lift this, this is probably going to hit the pipe. We can't really do anything about that. So, what's the best bet? Chop this thing. That should do it. as low as I can really get it.
Hold this? Yep. So it doesn't fall? Now but yeah, now we're gonna be able to get out get that out of there. Alright, let's let me see. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Anything holding us? No. No. It's just really tight. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There you go. Tilt this up to me a little. There we go. Let's bring it straight down. All right. There we go. Okay. I got this wire brush drill set. Perfect for this situation. I'm gonna take it and sand this down a little bit. Make sure not like parts of the gasket's kind of stuck in there. We're gonna sand off those little pieces so we have a nice smooth surface. All right, let's hit it. Surface ain't too bad. Yeah, this one's a lot worse. Look at that. Let's hit it. Don't make a big difference. Gasket's still on there, it's not coming off. Oh, that's nice. Everything is nice and clean. Smooth as can be. So, couple issues. Main thing is configuration. So this is the way that it was. If we look, it's a lot thinner here. See this piece here, it's like thick. And over here it's thin. According to the diagrams, this is the suction and this is the discharge. It was in that same configuration. In my last video, I installed this one right here. And if you look at it, thick here, thin here. So this is the suction. Something's wrong here. Something is wrong here. Because this one, the suction's on this side where the strainer is. I'm just having trouble understanding what's going on. Let's just look at look over this. If you guys have any input, I greatly appreciate it because something is wrong here. If we look at these boilers, this is, says outlet, and that says inlet. Same thing for that one, outlet, inlet. These two are actually tied in together if you follow the pipes. So inlet is going in, right? And outlet is going out. Only thing that makes sense. So the water must be flowing off this way out, right? Out, tied in. Go back there to the outlet on that boiler, right? Both outlets are coming out at the same time and it's coming through here. It's labeled as supply. Yeah, I don't know about all that, but let's just pay attention. This is coming this way, right? It's going and it's flowing through here, goes into a heat exchanger. These two are connected and, and then these two are connected. So according to the boiler, Water's coming out this way and flowing out and coming out this way. Right? And then that's becoming the supply on these. So somehow this is just a closed loop. It's just going in and out. If the outlet is coming out this way and flowing this way, right? What's up with this pump? Because if you look at this pump, there's an arrow. It's going this way. But if this is the outlet coming out, right, and it's coming out this way, water's flowing this way, according to the boiler, there's a pump on the boiler. There's a pump on the boiler. So if it's flowing that way, but this pump is pushing it this way, what's up with that? 
So that make it, that's making it hard for me to find out the, tr the proper configuration for these pumps. Because if this one is flowing this way, that means on this side, the water has to flow that way and it has to cross. So in this case, if we're, if we're going according to the boiler, water is flowing this way and this pump is in the wrong direction and needs to be reversed. So according to the boiler, so now according to here, water must be flowing this way. In this one, this is set up in the wrong way because they have to cross and I'll show you why. If you guys look at this diagram right here, if water's coming in this way on this side, water has to go opposite. It can go in the other direction as well because so, if water's going this way, now this side has to flow that way. Something really weird going on. So according to the boilers itself, as far as like outlets, if this is going this way, right? water needs to flow that way and that's the way I have this one installed that's also the according to the boiler it's proper to have this the way I have this one installed this one is in that same configuration water's flowing this way then this has to go like this so the suction and then discharge the problem is the strainer is the strainer in the wrong place or is that pump in the wrong place or is this whole thing messed up for me it makes sense that water would be coming into the strainer to protect the strainer so nothing gets inside there and then pushes out this way all right and then comes out this way i i think it's i can't follow any rest of this piping everything's in the ceiling you know i'm sure it goes to these mm -hmm. tanks and stuff like that right but what's going on here something is terribly wrong i think for now i'm just gonna put it in the position that it's in because i guess no one's been complaining everybody got hot water so i guess i'll just put it the way it is but i gotta do research maybe call the manufacturer and figure out exactly what's going on or is that right am i not getting that right with the flow of the water because all the flow even with this one and that looks absolutely terrible. This is gonna be the next thing to leak here. Everything is flowing in this way. But the outlets say that it's, this is the outlet. Maybe I just turn these circulator pumps off and just use the ones in the boiler. And then this current configuration is correct, but then the strainer is in the wrong place something's wrong but if it's if this is the proper way is that piped in right you know what there's a check valve i see a check valve check valve the arrow is actually going this way so water is flowing this way is that in the wrong place too i gotta look at a diagram of like how these how this is supposed to be set up with a heat exchanger. This is the heat exchanger. Something is just terribly strange here. I got two fresh gaskets here, perfectly matched up. For right now, I'm gonna put it back the way I found it. Nobody was complaining, whatever. All right, Chris, let's, get, let's bring this up. Got it. Hold the body over here. Watch out, cause the pipe is gonna be in your way there. All right? Yep. One, two, three. three. Up. Hold up, we gotta put it in straight. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I got the pump. Okay. Come on this side. Right. Go ahead. Pull that pipe back. No, no, no. Pull that one a little bit. Okay. Nice. There we go. The gauges, I guess I could just spin them around. 
right? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> uh, let's look at the arrow. It's still supposed to be flowing this way, right? Yeah. Where is the arrow on this thing? Yeah, arrow right here. So it's yeah, this is suction, this is just charge. Alright guys. I'm gonna push it towards you a little. Okay. Let me get this gasket in. Okay, real tight. Let's get that gasket in. Okay, that's in there. Let's get let's get that through. And get that through gaskets in place. Let's come towards me a little. Okay, let me just put two bolts there. Anti seize would be nice for sure, but honestly, these are pretty clean. Looks like this pump has already been replaced before. There was a seal kit replacement on this one. Looks like it went again. That looks pretty good. Let me just get two come on this side. Let me just get two bolts in there. Okay. And then it will be in, lined up. All right, gasket is lined up. Perfect. Let's tighten this up. All right. Let's tighten this up. Oh well. Wow. Right there. Just snug. Next one. Socket set is coming in real handy. All right, everything looks nice and clean and lined up. All right, all right. Our electricals on this side instead of that side. What is going on here? Anyways, this is closed. Let's open up the water and test for leaks. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. Valves are open. No leaks, everything's looking good. We got pressure in here, in and out. Same configuration as the other one. Oh man, that's great. It was crazy because when I first turned it on, it some water squirted out of there, which was weird, and it stopped. I don't know what that's about, but I'm not gonna question it. Cause I'm trying to go home. It's Friday night, it's late, and I'm going to Florida tomorrow, guys. I'm not trying to get no emergency calls. <laughs> Let's wire this up. All right, guys, I connected the electrical. We had three wires coming in three phases, right? And we have three wires at the motor. The rotation needs to go this way. So you put any three together and you check the rotation. If the rotation's correct, you're good. If it's not correct, you switch any two wires and I have a separate video where I go into further detail regarding that. We got the systems on, it's spinning right now. That's a beautiful thing right there. Gonna air this out a little bit. Flush some water out of there. It's been pumping for a bit over half an hour. We got no leaks. Everything's good to go. It's moving in this direction, same configuration as this one, with the arrow going that way. So we're good to go there. We're gonna start cleaning up our tools. And what is that? Yeah. On that note, <laughs> we're going to wrap it up. 
If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.